Antonna. The plural of ki is kunna. You just need to read these sentences once. Then plural of zahabti is zahabtunna. Now you will learn about two words, which is kabla and bada. Kabla means before and bada means after. And one thing that you need to remember that they are always mudaf. They always act like muzaf. So this means the word which will follow them will be majroor. So here you see bada is muzaf and dars is majroor because it is muzaf ilayhi. Qabla is muzaf and as is majroor because it is mudaf ilayhi. And here we have the verb raja'a he returned. You will learn the meaning of this word as well. Now you have some vocabulary. That you need to memorize. Adarsul Khamisashara, 15th lesson. Adarsul Khamisashara, 15th lesson. Al Fatayat, the young girls. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Peace and mercy and blessings of Allah be upon you. Zainab. Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. And peace and mercy and blessings of Allah be upon you too. Man antunna ya akhawat. Who are you all, O sisters? Ehdahunna, one of them. Nahnu banatu shaykh Abbas. We are the daughters of Mr. Abbas, Sheikh Abbas. Zainab, ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaba. Welcome. Ummu kunna ustazati. Your mother is my teacher. Kaifa haluha? How is she? Ihdahunna, one of them. Hiya bi khayrim walhamdulillah. She is fine and all praises belongs to Allah. Zainab, Aina hi al-ana. Where is she now? Ehdahunna, one of them. He yal-ana riyaz. She right now in riyaz. Zainab, Mata zahabat. When did she go? Ehdahunna, one of them. Zahabat Kabla Uswo. She went a week ago. Zainab Man Zahaba Maaha. Who went with her? Ehdahunna Zahaba Maaha Akhuna Ibrahim. Our brother Ibrahim went with her. Zainab Kaifaha Lukunna. How is she? She. Oh, sorry. Halukunna. How are you all? How are you all? Ehdahunna, one of them. Nahnu bi khairim walhamdulillah. We are fine and all praises belong to Allah. Zainab. Fi ayi madrasatin andunna. In which school are you all? In which school are you all studying basically? In the Hunna Nahnu Fil Madrasa Til Mutawasita. We are in the middle school. Zainab Matahtiba Rukunna. When are your exams? In the Hunna, one of them. Ikhtibaruna Bada Shahar. Our exams are after one month.
Zainab asked, Did you all go to the school today? Ehtahunna, one of them, Naam, yes. Zahabna Warajana, we went and we returned. Tamarine exercises. Ajibanila Silatilatiya. Answer the following questions. Man Antunna, who are you all? So here, Nanu Bana to Sheikh Yabas, we are the daughters of Sheikh Abbas. Aina Ummukunna, where is your mother? Hiya, Hiya Ana, Firiyaz, she is in the Riyaz right now. Aina Baitukunna, where is your house? So I think the house is in, where is their house? This thing is not mentioned here. So you can just say anything. Baituna fi riyad. Baituna mam al madrasa. Anything you can say. So you need to write the answers. Annisil muttada'a fi kulli min al jumali latiya. Make the subject feminine in each of the following sentences. A antum tulabun. Are you all students? Are you all female students? Are you all teachers? Are you all female teachers? Are you all male doctors? Are you all female doctors? Are antum ikhwatu Hamid? Are you all brothers of Hamid? Are antunna akhawatu Hamid? Are you all sisters of Hamid? Are antum muslimun? Are you all muslims? Are antum akhawatu? Are antum muslimun? Are you all muslims? Sorry, this is female. Are antunna muslimatun? So in this way, you will feel this. How will it the mira fi kulli min al jumali latia? Kama huwa muwaddaun fil misal. Convert the pronoun in each of the following sentences like it is clear in the example. Al misal. Aina baitukum ya ikhwan. Where is your house, O brothers? Aina baitukunna ya khawat. Where is your house, O sisters? Aina khukum ya ikhwan. Where is your brother, O oh, oh brothers? Where is your brother, O oh brothers? Aina, Ahu kunna ya khawat. Where is your brother, O oh sisters? Aina madrasatukum ya ikhwan. Where is your school, O oh brothers? Aina. Madrasatu kunna ya khawat. Where is your school? O oh, sisters. Mata ikhbarukum. Mata ikhtibarukum ya ikhwan. When is your exam, O oh, brothers? Mata ikhtibarukunna ya khawat. When is your exam, O oh, sisters? Da filamakin il khaliyati fi ma yali. The meer and munasiban red mukhata. Put in the empty spaces which are below. Appropriate pronoun for the second person. Anta antum anti antunna. So, <clears throat> ah, anta Muslim. Anta mean you, masculine, singular. Antum you, masculine, plural. Anti you, feminine, singular. Antunna you, feminine, plural. 
A anta muslimun are you a muslim? A anti marida are you sick? A antunna tabi batun are you all doctors? A antum to jarun are you all merchants? Da filamakin in Haliati from Jumadilati at the mirror and with the sinner in Mohatib. Put in the following empty spaces. The filamak in Hania put in the following empty spaces in the Manilatia in the following sentences the mere and a pronoun attached with the second person pronoun. Ka mean your, kum mean your all. This is ka is for one person and kum is for plural. Ki mean your female and kunna is also your, but it is for plural females. Aina baitu kum ya ikhwan, where is your house of brothers? Ahaza kitabuka ya Hamid, is this your book, oh Hamid? Saatu ki jamila ya Layla, your watch is beautiful, oh Layla. Man abu kunna ya khawat, who is your father or sisters? Da filamakin il khali ya fima yali damir al munasiban il takalim ana nahnu. Put in the following empty spaces which are below appropriate pronoun for the first person. Ana Muslimun, I am Muslim. Nahnu Muslimuna, we are Muslims. Ana Muslima, I am a Muslim. Nahnu Muslimatun, we are Muslims. Ikra waktu read and write. Zahaba bi lal Kahira kabla usbu. My father went to Kahiro a week ago. Mata kharajta min al-fasl ya Muhammad. When did you go out from the class of Muhammad? Kharajtu baad al-dars. I went out after the lesson. Zahabtu ila al-masjidi kabla al-azan. I went to the masjid before azan. Mata zahaba ammu kila riyaz ya Amina. When did your uncle go to riyaz wa Amina? Zahaba kabla shahar. He went a month ago. A kabla salati zahabta ilal matam. Did you go to the salah before rest? Uh, did you uh, did you uh, go to the restaurant before the salah? Did you go to the restaurant before the salah? La zahabtu baad the salah. No, I went after the salah. Here he is telling you that the word kabla and baad are always mudaf. This means the word which will come after them will be muzafile majroor. So you see. All of the words which are following Kabla and Bada in these examples are Mudafilehi Majroor. Aina Zahabta Yahi, where did you go, my brother? Aina Zahabtum Yahwani, where did you all go, my brothers? Aina Zahabti Yahti, where did you go, my sister? Aina Zahabtunna Yahawati, where did you all go, oh my sisters? Ana Zahabtu, I went. Nahnu Zahabna, we went. Al Kalimatul Janina, new words. You need to write their meanings here. At the Mairul Nul Munfasila, separate pronouns, or you can also call it detached pronoun. So, pronouns are of two types one which are attached to a noun, and one those are written separately. Those which are written separately are marfu, usually, and those which are attached to the nouns are either mansub or majroor. So these are detached. These are separate. So these are marfu. Huwa talib, he is a student. Hum tullab, they are student. He ya taliba, she is a student. Hunna taliba, they are students. Anta talib, you are a student. Antum tullab, you all are students. Anti taliba, you are student. Antunna taliba, you all are students. <clears throat> Anna Talib, I am a student. Nahnu Tula, we are students. Anna Talib, I am a student. Nahnu Talib, we are students. So here we completed the lesson. Alhamdulillah. This was the fifth lesson. So I recommend you to submit it in the homework number 10 in the Google Classroom. If you need any assistance, any question, feel free to ask me on my WhatsApp or in the comments. Masalama.